So um, I'm thinking about gynocentrism, just as I go, and um, I'm surprised by how um, men don't seem to value themselves very much. They don't value themselves very highly. Men seem to see themselves as tools, as useful devices to do stuff. Whatever job they do, whatever. They see themselves as functionaries. But men see women differently and women see themselves differently. Women definitely don't see themselves as useful tools. I'm thinking an exception to this might be prostitutes, but I haven't thought about it very much apart from just this second. So I'll think about that and come back to it maybe. But the point is that women don't see themselves as just utilities. Generally, they see themselves as something special. They can be mothers and girlfriends. They are, they're special basically in, in comparison with men. Men, on the other hand, have a very low opinion of themselves. They put themselves forward into all kinds of danger and hard work. Um, and they're happy to do it, proud to do it. And I'm finding it surprising that um, men have such a low opinion of themselves because men generally are highly capable and it is amazing how the world functions and the technologies we have on our food supply, on our houses, on our roads, on our cars, etc. It's just completely amazing how men contribute to society. And this contribution is so strong. It's way more than women in terms of functions and our devices and our living environment. Men far exceed the contributions of women. I'm finding it really strange how gynocentrism seems to be pretty much the main thing in life. Nature has made it that way. So men want to do things for women, they value women. Women are the main thing in life for many men, most men, perhaps even all men. And men are very much more functionaries. And men see themselves that way. I'm not sure if it is changing or if it will change because of um, changes in technology. Basically, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in the world that only men are capable of doing. But we've created so much technology that men the functions of men are being replaced much more. Machinery, robots, a lot of the products as well as services and functions, a lot of these things can be replaced by machines. And in some cases the machine can do it better. The point is that men are, it's not as simple as saying men are becoming redundant increasingly. That's not quite where I'm coming from. But the fact of the matter is, the position of men in society is changing fundamentally. So our technology advance means that Humanity doesn't need to depend on men so directly. And what this means is that men are becoming more free and more able 
to see to their own needs, which hasn't happened before in history. Men have always been focused on others, on the community, on women and children, on the animals. Everything that a man does has been for some other entity. That's why men are so much, so much soldiers. They value their country more than their life. And so they in the military. So men are very outward focused in how they regard things. Men don't see themselves as valuable in the same way as women. And I'm thinking about how we have our common expressions, ladies before gentlemen, that's a common one. And women and children to the life boats first. There is a, an assumption that men are fundamentally of less value and men hold that view as well. And it is very surprising, but I am thinking it is increasingly changing due to technology. So technology is replacing the functions of men in so many ways. And I'm wondering what this means. If the world doesn't need to depend on men so directly and so completely as it always has in history, men will become more free and can see to their own needs more. So the question is, what does this mean? What does this mean for society if men will begin to care about themselves more in the same way that women have operated in the world? Women have seen to their own needs. They focused on themselves very much and their children. Yeah, can I clear this now? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Very much. The room is hot. I'm just busy doing something. All right, okay. I'm very sorry. sorry. I'm very sorry, man. Thank yeah, you. That's right. Just yeah, that was a support worker sorting me out. My life is very strange now. Being looked after as a disabled person, basically. It's supported living as well. I'm trying to remember what I was saying. I think I was saying women are fundamentally different to how men are and how they perceive themselves. So I do think that men have a low opinion of themselves. And that's why the expressions women and children to the life boats first and ladies before gentlemen. That's why those expressions have gained utility. And men accept this paradigm, that they're, they're happy with this situation. But as I say, I think technology replacing so many of the functions of men will mean a change in our perception of men and how men operate in the world. And it really is hard to know what that will mean. As men become more concerned with themselves and their own needs matter more, what will this mean for society? It's completely unknowable, I would say. I haven't thought enough about what direct changes might happen. But it is so interesting to wonder what, will, what it will mean if men are essentially becoming more like women and caring about themselves, possibly first and foremost, increasing is very strange to wonder how society will change and would it be positive or negative? I think it will be positive for men in so many ways. There'd be less men dying on the job, less men dying in wars. So that's direct benefit for men. But I haven't thought enough about 
how men operate in the world in relation to women, in relation to their friends, etc. But big changes happening, and it is a real mystery.